Hey guys, my name is Stephanie Fair and I'm the Technology Facilitator at David W. Butler High School. And this quick video tutorial is how to add sections to your Canvas course. Please note that this is not for a PowerSchool created course. This is for a course that you've created on your own in a sandbox. So there are many different reasons why teachers and students may want a personalized Canvas course that is not created by PowerSchool. And that's obviously what we're discussing today. Your first step would be to create that course, um, and then you're going to create your sections. So I am sitting in the Butler High School uh, Canvas course right now that we have for students. We call it a home base instead of a hub, but you can call it whatever you want. Um, you're gonna click on that left-hand side menu and go down to settings. And then once you're in settings, you're gonna click the tab for sections. You can create any sections that you want or delete any section that you want, okay? Um, please note if you're deleting sections and they have students in them, then that might be a problem. So you'd quickly come down here at the bottom and you would click how you'd want to add the title to your section. And that would create a new section. So you wanna create your sections first. Students can be in multiple sections. So you might have sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, but you may also have the sixth grade team for the Jaguars and the seventh grade team for the Cougars and so on and so forth. Um, so you can have multiple sections and multiple groups. Uh, this is my new page for this year, but I typically keep my homepage for about four years. So I like to put not only the freshman, but the class, the graduating class year. I can edit this at any time, so I can change it for next year for sophomores or juniors or whatever. So I can keep the same sections, um, re-add the students over and over again and move them as they will because in high school, kids may switch grade levels at mid-year um, and it won't mess anything up. So once you create your sections, you're gonna add your students. So let me show you how to do that. To add students, you're simply gonna go again on that left-hand side menu and click People. Um, you'll want to get a PowerSchool export the way you'll need it, or you can organize it the way you need it from your PowerSchool administrator if you're not the PowerSchool administrator. Um, and I'll show you the, some of the different ways you can organize students. Once you're on your people page, you're gonna add your people by clicking the plus sign. Um, you can add students any way you like. Um, I typically do the login ID because you don't have to do the at student.cms, so, so on and so forth. I take a big batch from the spreadsheet column and I post the ID numbers only into the group to add people. Um, I do recommend keeping it about 300 or so. Sometimes uh, it's too much for Canvas. Um, I do keep them as the role of a student. I don't want them to edit this page. Now, I do have some clubs where I do have students become teachers because they're managing their club page. Um, that's for a, a later discussion. Um, and then when you have your sections, the sections that you created under settings will now appear under sections for people. So you would add this group and add freshmen and move on and hit next. If you want to add them to multiple groups, I suggest you just go back to your spreadsheet you click them, you paste them again, you add them in. Or you can click the student and add it individually um, to multiple groups. Remember, if you have a PowerSchool Observer, they're automatically gonna be populated when you import the student. So that's pretty cool as well. And one other thing to mention is I usually keep my home base for about four years before I uh, recycle it and make a new one. So I could have groups in multiple places, especially at the high school level, because high school, um, the grade levels are determined by class. And so in the middle are the number of class credits. So in the middle of the year, my sophomores may become juniors, my juniors may become seniors, and they need to get those senior messages. So you may find that I have groups in multiple sections, and you can see that in your section names. Um, if if you have that and that's there's nothing wrong with it it will just help you if you want to differentiate different groups so that's why i was suggesting uh, teams or clubs or other activities that you might want to break it up for your kids and the reason for this is because whenever we make announcements or anything else we are an assignment we can differentiate them and make it just for our own group of people so this assignment or announcement was made for seniors. And so if we scroll down, it's posted just to the senior class. And when we hit save, they get an email message, they get a Canvas message, and so do their observers. So we're just sending it straight to seniors. Um, this is really great for us because then we can get information out that's specific just to specific groups. All right, happy thinking of creating a Canvas hub.